Okay, so I got some great news. First of all, environmental engineering, anything related to sustainability or environmental related jobs, it is not dead. And here's why I believe that. So there's actually two reasons. Uh, one of them is pretty selfish and another one is speculative. So let's jump right into it. The first one really is just beneficial to me is that I got a raise. I know it sounds like so conceited and so like messed up to say. So you're probably wondering like how does that really tie into anything? So let me explain myself. So me getting a raise really means that this job is still on demand. That means it's like steady. You know people really want like steady jobs where they won't like have to be worried about whether or not they're gonna get laid off. This job is one of them. And also going back to the fact that like despite millions of people being laid off because they're like I guess not essential. This job is strong enough to survive this pandemic. So meaning it is essential. Someone needs to perform this job because eventually in the future like they're gonna get in trouble if they don't. It's a stable job. In case you're wondering how much of a raise I got or like how much I'm making, it's gonna be very transparent with you. I'm currently making $82,500 a year living in California as of November 2020. And so actually I think my first video was me showing how much I made when I first started this job. So let's just go back and recap everything. So it went from 75,000 a year back in March 2019 to 78,500 in September 2019. So only about six months. Then I thought I was stuck just because like I wasn't really growing too much and this whole pandemic hit. So from September 2019 up until September or like October 2020, that was when I got another raise going from 78,500 a year to now 82,500 a year. And just to give you proof, I'm gonna post a screenshot of like the transition. So yeah, it's exciting. I know it's again very rude and like show offy, but that's not the intention here. I'm just showing you that like it's still stable, it's still rewarding. Uh, you're not going to be as, making as much as like a computer engineer or a software engineer, but I mean, who knows in the future? Really, it's just like whatever problem shows up is that if they can fix that problem, then they'll earn the most money. So in the future, as like environmental problems start to emerge more, then who knows? Maybe we'll become the next like software engineer, you know, tier in terms of their pay. So if anything, this whole pandemic has taught me that health is important. So I know right now the pandemic is really towards like human health and I know I'm talking about like environmental health so we're really comparing like apples and oranges but overall what I'm trying to say is that health in general is important. We can't simply ignore problems think that it'll go away magically because eventually that problem's gonna show up and you know hit us in the face right when we least expect it. Human health has always been like an issue because you know you don't want to lose lives but we can just address it now and like lessen how bad it'll be in the future. So that means like climate change and environmental sustainability and all that environmental related impacts, they're gonna hit us. So right now, like environmental related jobs, they're pretty low. Like there's not many jobs out there that you can get. The job perspective is low, but if we continue to hurt the environment, which is like a horrible thing to say, eventually, again, more problems are gonna stack up. We're gonna show up and they're gonna need us. People's life will be in danger. So you're gonna see things like bad air quality or bad water quality, you know, extreme fires, extreme droughts extreme hurricanes, all these lives lost and like money used just to like rebuild structure. As more problems occur, more jobs will emerge. So eventually the job demand for this position, it'll increase because now we have so many problems that we need someone to fix these problems. Like, you know, who can fix these problems? In a way, problems just breed innovation. And that's where our specialty and our innovation will shine the most. So we're gonna need people to come up with ways to like innovate to prepare for climate change. We need to prepare for a world that's resilient to environmental impacts or come up with ways to like lessen the environmental impacts of you know some process. Yeah so that's really all I have to say. I'm just here to say and probably just give you hope that if you're worried about this job and maybe not finding anything in the future don't worry about it because again as horrible as it sounds the more problems the more jobs will be created and you'll be rewarded for that. All right, don't hate me for being like conceited. Sorry, I had to say it. But again, I just wanted to be very transparent about like how much I'm making and like what you'll be compensated for around that region. All right, that's all. Goodbye.